my chair. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Steve Rossay's online tuba studio class number four out of 20 over 10 weeks. Um, chilling here with Pixie and the tubas, getting ready to make this video for you. Today, we're going to go a little bit deeper in the breathing, the meditation. I'm going to add some exercises. And today we're going to incorporate both tubas, the C tuba and the F tuba. And we're going to work on the C tuba in order to improve the F tuba and work on the F tuba in order to improve the C tuba. Improving, improving. All right. So a lot of you I know will practice just the F tuba for a while or E flat, then just the C or the B flat. But what we're going to do today is we're going to incorporate work of both of the instruments, having them both next to us. This is a routine that will hopefully show you a way to improve on both instruments by having them both in the same session if you're not already doing that, all right? For those of you out there who only have one tuba, it's fine. Don't feel left out. A one tuba is enough. You can just repeat this exercise. You can just double up. When we go from small tuba to big tuba, you can double up, all right? So, I've got this little friend in my lap here, and I'll just keep her here for a while. We're going to start with some, uh, some meditation. And if you have a very gentle, loving, quiet old cat, they're really good for mental health, relaxation, being present. Sometimes I think it's good to just see the world uh, through the eyes of a cat every now and then. All right. All right. Let's get uh, back into it. Serious now. Meditation. 20 big deep breaths. Get your posture up. Um, get your breathing slow and deep and with every breath in I want you to think of energy focus motivation all right because in these days you want to stay motivated you want to stay focused you want to have a lot of hope and you want to just use this opportunity to move forward with your own personal development and your tuba development all right so with all positive thoughts in anything negative or stressful goes out. All right. 20 big deep breaths. Here we go. about you but I feel really focused very relaxed very peaceful and calm ready now to do the work with these wonderful instruments all right now let's um, while we're in the right state of mind let's just go into some regular deep tuba breathing all right 
So we're just going to breathe with me in and out, nice and relaxed, always beginning with the meditation and the breathing every session. Here we go. Sigh. Let's immediately apply that to the instrument. Valves open, just the air in and out. All valves down. Great. Let's play something. I've had a few requests uh, through Facebook messages. One is to work on staccato notes. The other was to, to work on the, the two instruments together so that one helps the other. And the other is to go a little bit deeper, a little bit more detailed in the middle to lower register. So we're going to be working that on that on the first half of this video. All right. So we're going to take a big breath in, and then we're going to play our, our fundamental C, and we're going to play the first five notes of a major scale. All right? Sound, breath, frame of mind. It starts with the mind, second posture, third air, the mind's created, the sound you want, then the rest comes naturally. So, here we go. Big C. If you have one instrument, as I said, just play this on one instrument. If you're not a tuba player, play this on just the one instrument you have. But however, if you're a horn player, you might want to think of playing it on the B-flat side and the F-side. If you're a trombone player, you might want to do the same uh, exercise but in alternate positions. And if you're a trumpet player, well, you've got a bag about a third of the size of my tuba case that holds five or seven trumpets, maybe 20. All right? So be creative. Here we go. So the exercise is going to be like in previous lessons, where we're going to go. To 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 to. This time, on the last note, we're going to diminuendo, so we can start working on 
various parts of our range. So it's not just mezzo forte, forte. Um, and then we're going to do it on the C tuba, then we're going to do it on the F tuba, we'll do it on the mouthpiece, then on the F tuba again, and then again staccato, then I'll get to the staccato um, note explanation for the request to work on staccato notes. All right? Here we go. Right me. Breathing on three, four. One, two. or the E-pot tuba, whatever your small tuba is, or your same instrument, do it again. of staccato. So it depends on the context of the music that you're playing in. For some pieces, some composers, some interpretations, a staccato basically means to keep a note slightly shorter than it's written. Another interpretation of staccato is to make sure that there's a clear and defined separation between the notes, especially when you have staccatos without rests in between. Another interpretation is just to lighten it up with a crisper tongue. All right? I like to think of all three of those when I play a generic staccato, but it will be depending on whether it's Tchaikovsky, Mahler, etc., etc., on the staccatos. And we have mostly staccatos in our solo repertoire as well. A lot of composers like Bruckner put staccatos in and marcatos primarily to create a definition of the production of the note in large, boomy acoustics. So you need to think about the music you're playing. If you have a staccato, but you're playing in a dry acoustic with no reverberation, you want to play those full and nice and long. And if you're playing staccatos in a booming live hall, you want to play those really short with a lot of separation. All right? How to play the staccato? The staccato is immediate sound right off the lips with the use of the tongue. The air will continue traveling between notes. However, the lips will stop vibrating momentarily to give you that extra space. So we'll go back to bum 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 right? And then we'll do a staccato. So I want you to to use your air exactly the same as both. Your tongue is going to be a little bit more crisp for the staccato, and your lips will stop vibrating momentarily between the notes. Okay? Staccato. 
through this exercise. We're going to keep going. You know how it's going to go. Down chromatically, lower and lower and lower. So the F2 will be getting into the really challenging uh, lower register with the, the D flat, 2 and 3 F. If you're playing especially a rotary valve F2, this exercise is wonderful. E. Longer. Do, do, do. Thank you. 
strength. The strength that is being built here in the embouchure will carry you in the middle register and the upper register. So one of the questions I get from people around the world is, how do I work on my high register? And I say, have you addressed your low register and middle register first? Mm, that's the answer. All right. So think of physical fitness, the most important are your, the strength of your legs and your core. Then the arms and everything is on top of that. It's the same with tuba playing. You build everything from the from the bottom, from the middle register, and then everything on top is easier to put on top. And you can work on your upper register once you've got a good low register and a middle register on both tubes, all your tubes. A. C2. 
teach you. I told you this is live, one shot. I'm not going to do this again. It's not that I'm sitting here doing it over and over until it's perfect. I'm just here doing this as if we are together live. All right. So I just record this once. If I make a little bit of a, whoop, it's called being human. All right. Hey. yourself on the diminuendo to get to nothing. or the band or a solo piece or an ensemble piece where you're diminuendoing to almost nothing and the pitch wants to go high, if you can grab a slide, you can pull it out, but as I'm demonstrating for you, I don't want to pull any slides in front of you in this instance because this is a, a, an exercise for here, all right? But if you're if it's at the expense of an audience hearing it, a jury, a judge, your colleagues, then go ahead and pull, pull slides if, or a a trigger if you have access to that. But it's good to do these exercises without doing that so you can build your, your strength there. All right, G.
Hope you are too. And we're all getting better. Now if you have a six valve aft tuba, you can play it all open or you can play it all valves. All valves down or all open if you have a six valve aft tuba. So I'm going to do both. They're almost exactly the same pitch, not quite, so you have the option to use whatever you want. Alright, I'm going to pause the video now, but I encourage you to just, you're in front of your thing, let it play out, let it stop, get to the end. Keep going, keep going all the way down, 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 alright? So I'm going to cut the video now, and then I'm going to come back to you with some scales again and some more talk about mouthpiece buzzing, and this time we will really talk about the mouthpiece buzzing, and we will have some health and nutrition tips as well as this holistic journey of improving ourselves as tuba players, health-wise, musically, and as people. All right, so I'll pause the video now. I'll go uh, give Pixie some bacon or some salmon, and I'll be right back. All right, so you keep going, you keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Lower, lower.